This video is going to show you how to create a tiger eye. It could also be used to make any kind of big cat eye that you would like, or really any animal that has fur around the eye. You could use this video to help you create it. Just remember that when you are drawing eyes, there is an eyeball. That means that it is round and it will catch light and there should be different shades of color on it when you begin. This is the eye I am going to be showing you how to create. If you want to change the colors or designs, you're welcome to. After you've drawn your eye really, really big, make sure that you have a space that will have color, a space that will have the black pupil in the center, and kind of think about where your highlights will go. Then decide what kind of colors you want to have in your eye and find some oil pastels that are that color. Your main color of your eye, you should take the side of your oil pastel and slide all around. Then start to use a second color and use apply a little bit heavier pressure. Finally, your third lighter color is what's going to start to make your eyeball look round. You want to, as you're layering these colors on, start to color um, in a rounded direction to make this look like a round eyeball. The next thing you see me doing is taking a dark blue and making some shadows in the corners and underneath the eyeball. This way it starts to look more 3D. I also want to use some white where there's light catchers and where the whites of the eye are. White is a great color to use to blend colors. Finally, if you are done and all of your colors are blended and mixed together, you will just ask the teacher for some India ink to fill in the pupil and outline the eye with nice thick black lines using a paintbrush and India ink. Make sure not to pick up your paper when you have wet India ink on it as it is very permanent. Once you are done watching this part of the video, you may pause it here while you color in and shade in your eye. Now it is time to create the texture around your eye of whatever animal you would like to make. I'm making a tiger, so I'm looking at a picture of a tiger and looking where some of the black stripes would go around the eye. You can look up a zoomed in photo of any animal that you would like, or you can just look at this picture, um, this example that I'm creating here. I'm using a black oil pastel and making my really big shapes around my eye. You could do the same thing with cheetah print, or maybe your animal does not have lines around the eye. You would just skip this step and move on to the next step. Notice how I'm using really heavy pressure to fill in the stripes with my black oil pastel. When I am done filling in the stripes, then I'm going to start to add texture um, of the fur that goes around the eye. You might use one color or more than one color depending on the animal you're creating, but notice that I'm having the fur grow in different directions. I'm making little lines and using pretty heavy pressure to do this all around the eye. I'm also using white because tigers have white and orange fur, and I'm okay with the white mixing in with the black because that will add even more change in color and texture around my eye. So I'm just making little lines in different directions depending on how that fur will grow. After you have created all the texture with oil pastels that you can, you will get some paint and water it down with water. So I'm touching a little bit into a paint, into the paint, but a lot into the water to spread it over top and fill in the white spaces where I want more orange in my tiger. Again, you could do this with any color depending on the animal you are painting. Now I'm trying a technique called dry brushing where I'm kind of blending the orange into the white fur because there shouldn't be just a hard outline between the two. This is a great way to make your tiger look realistic because you have the texture of the oil pastels and the smooth, vibrant color of the paint to fill in between the textures that you create. Again, you could do this with any animal. It's just great to have the combination of oil pastels and paint together to make this look real. I can't wait to see what you create.